next lecture so as i told you my name is abhijit agade and i am here to teach you uh, the engineering mechanics subject okay give the details of engineering mechanics subject so we will just uh, go through uh, some points which we have covered uh, uh, in last lecture okay so just uh, uh, we will go through uh, we will focus it on uh, some points okay so what we have learned in the last lecture so i have told you what is mean by engineering mechanics in that first of all i have told you what is mean by mechanics okay in that i have told you that what is mean by mechanics so it is a branch of science which deals with the uh, forces on effects on the body in motion or at rest okay so after that i have told you the engineering mechanics in in which i have given you more uh, at least four definitions okay in which you can uh, choose it any uh, any definition okay so the study of different laws and principles of mechanics which is applied for the engineering problems okay in simple way you can uh, uh, write it okay so these are the four definitions so i have also told you that what is the necessity to learn uh, this engineering mechanics subject okay i have gone through the necessities also so it is very very much necessary uh, for civil engineering next is mechanical engineering automobile engineering okay in which the forces are applied okay so why uh, why it is necessary to uh, in civil engineering uh, first it is necessary to plan and design uh, and construct the various parts of the structure in machine parts and next is to the knowledge of this subject is to form the uh, it is basics okay basics of the machine design tool design strength of material subject theory of uh, st structure subject and design of structure so uh, you must be knowing here uh, when you read this that it is a basic part of this all subject okay so machine design tool design strength of material theory of structure and design of structure so i have also told you that and uh, engineering mechanics is divided into two parts first is statics and second is dynamics so what is meant by statics okay so the statics is nothing but uh, it deals with the action of forces on the body is in rest okay so statics means a static position okay a rest position so the forces applied on the body when it is in rest position and next is it deals with the action of forces on the body when in the body is in motion when the forces are applied on the body and the body is in motion so next the dynamics are again divided into two parts okay first is kinematics and second is kinetics so what is mean by kinetics it deals with the action of forces on the bodies when it is in motion considering the with, sorry without considering the mass of that body okay so kinematics is nothing but without considering the mass of that body okay and next is kinetics that deals with the action of forces in the body in motion considering the mass of the body so these are some of the points uh, in which we will go through so forces and its effects so uh, first of all i told you what is mean of force okay so force is uh, very important in uh, in uh, field of mechanics uh, it may uh, produce or tends to produce or destroy or tends to destroy the motion as i have given the example of a car okay then what are the effects of forces how the forces uh, effects on the body so uh, forces may effects on the body in such a way that if the body is in rest it may set in a, it in a motion or if the body is in motion it may set it in rest okay that uh, second point we, uh, i have written here it may retard at uh, the motion of the of the body okay i have given the example of a car okay so when car is in a rest position okay when i uh, accelerate it it goes further when, that means from rest position i have set it in motion and if i apply the brakes it when it is in motion it comes at the rest okay so here the last point is uh, some internal stresses are been induced so internal stresses also i told you so the internal stresses are nothing but when i accelerate it some internal stresses are, comes on the engine and the uh, bike or that car uh, starts uh, comes in the motion okay and when i apply the brakes again the internal stresses are developed on that uh, car or bike okay and uh, on the tire and with due to friction it may comes to the rest or minimize the motion 
so next point is what uh, the characteristics of forces which I, we have seen so um, uh, first is magnitude second is direction third is nature and uh, last is the point on which it is applied okay so if the third uh, yeah, i have given here the uh, example also with uh, third newton law at 30 degree angle okay so third newton force acting on a body as shown in the figure then it's following characteristics so magnitude which is 30 newton so uh, as i told you magnitude magnitude is nothing but the force which is used to pull or push that body okay the force which is pull uh, which is used to pull or push that body is nothing but the magnitude next is the direction direction is nothing but at 30 degree angle which it is used at 30 degree angle which uh, 30 degree angle is nothing but the direction next is the point of application so point of application is a okay at the midpoint of that body and next is the nature is nothing but the pull type of force okay so forces are of two types first is pull and uh, second is push so till here we have seen so from uh, now we will see the system of forces what are the system of forces when two or more forces act on the body it forms a system of forces okay when two or more forces acts on a single body it is called as a system of force so system of force is also divided into again uh, two parts first is coplanar force system and second is non coplanar force system so in coplanar force system it's collinear concurrent non concurrent parallel in again parallel it is like parallel or unlike parallel so in coplanar force system there are actually four parts first is collinear concurrent non concurrent and parallel so parallel part is divided into again two parts first is like parallel and second is unlike parallel so non coplanar force system we will see now non coplanar force system so non coplanar force system first is concurrent second is non concurrent and third is parallel okay third is parallel so see we will see one by one now so system of forces so coplanar force system so what is mean by coplanar force system the line of action of all the forces lies in a single plane okay so i, I have given here an example also that uh, uh, I, I will note it here okay i will highlight it okay so see this one this is a plane okay this is a single plane okay and on which the forces are been acting okay on which the forces are been acting so the line of action of force lies in a single plane is called, called as a coplanar force system next then what in by collinear force system so collinear force system is nothing but a line of action of all the forces lies in a single plane and act along the same line okay so example i have given here so uh, we all know the tug of war game okay isn't it isn't it so uh, here i have given the tug of war uh, example of tug of war so this is nothing but that collinear force system in which this p is pulling in uh, right side and this p which is this force is pulling on the left side on the same point so it is nothing but the line of action of all forces lies in a single plane and act along the same line okay so tug of war keep it in mind the tug of war game so this is nothing but the collinear force system next concurrent force system so in concurrent force system the line of action of all forces lies in a single plane but do not pass through a common point but do not cross through a, cross, cross through a common point okay example the force of the uh, forces on the rod resting against the wall so see here the forces are been gone okay the forces are been applied here okay so next is non concurrent force system so in, in non concurrent force system the line of action of all forces lies in a single plane but do not pass through the common point so here i have given the example of a simply supported beam so these are the supports and this is a beam okay on which the two forces are there which is p1 and p2 okay so li the line of action of all forces lies in a single plane but do not pass through the common point okay so i have given there the example the force of a ladder uh, resting against the wall when the person stands on the rung which uh, which it is not at the center of the gravity so next part we will study
that what are the systems of forces okay so parallel force system what do you mean by a parallel force system so the line of action of all forces lies in a single plane and parallel to each other also okay so like parallel force system so what, for, what is parallel force system the line of action of all the forces lies in a single plane and parallel to each other in that there are as i told you there are two parts first is like parallel and second is unlike parallel so we'll see the like parallel forces so the like parallel forces is nothing but the line of action of all forces are parallel to each other and all the forces acting are in same direction okay we know the parallel forces are nothing but it will uh, it are parallel to each other so the line of action of all the forces which is p1 p2 p3 and p4 okay p1 p2 p3 and p4 are uh, parallel to each other and all the forces are acting in the same direction so see the directions here acting in a same direction isn't it so next is and uh, so example i have given here so the weight of a stationary train or a rail with the uh, track in a straight line so unlike parallel force system so in unlike parallel force system the line of action of all forces are parallel to each other and all the forces are not acting in the same direction so see unlike parallel forces all the forces are in parallel okay so p1 p2 p3 are in parallel but the directions are not same okay so see the direction of p1 it is going upward so p2 is going downward p3 as again it is going upward and p4 is again, again going downward okay so these are the system of forces parallel forces in which it is like parallel forces and unlike parallel forces so example here of unlike parallel forces is force acting on a rcc beam okay so it is unlike parallel force okay so next is the resolution of force resolution of force the process of splitting up the given force into a member of component without uh, without changing its effect on the body is called as a resolution of force so what is so see again i will uh, read the definition the process of splitting okay the, so the uh, process of splitting up of the given force into the member of the component without changing the effect of the body is nothing but no, uh, is known as a resolution of force okay so force is resolved as the force can be resolved uh, as into two mutually perpendicular directions okay on uh, the two axes are not in the uh, right angle to each other and next is when it lies on x axis or y axis okay so resolution of force system so resolution of force system is nothing but the splitting up of the splitting up of the given force into uh, the number of uh, components without changing its effect on the body is called as a resolution of force means when it is when it is when it gets splitted okay the in, into the member uh, without uh, it will not change its effect of the body okay is nothing but the resolution of force so how it can be resolved so it can be resolved in three ways so first is uh into the two mutually perpendicular directions uh, in means components uh, on two axes which are at, at right angle to each other okay and when it lies in x axis and y axis okay so in next next lecture we will see the resolution of forces one by one which is a b and c thank you